Juju, as everybody knows, it was held at the end of the Super Bowl. We talked about that on Monday. I didn't really think it was a good call. It was kind of soft. James Bradbury admitted it. Juju admitted it. Everybody was like, yeah, it happened. It is what it is. We'll move on. It's not the reason that the Chiefs lost or won the Super Bowl. Then Juju decided to drop a meme about James Bradbury referring to him or on Valentine's Day, I guess. Look, look at first, I got to say it was a great meme, but it was. wasn't wasn't very appreciated in the uh, in the Philadelphia community. He dropped I'll hold you when it matters the most, <laughs> uh, which is, a, again, just a great like it's a good troll. It's a good troll. Maybe a little bit early, you know, you, two days after a, a heartbreaking loss. I don't know if I'm about that life, but it has gotten some traction. First off, AJ Brown jumped on here and said, first off, congratulations. You all deserve this. This is lame. You was on the way out of the league before Patrick Mahomes resurrected your career on your one year deal. TikTok boy. He admitted that he grabbed you, but don't act like you're like that or ever was. But congratulations again. They did not stop. I saw Darius Slay go after him. Uh, CJ Gardner Johnson obviously keeps keeps going. He went twice, I believe. Um, and Juju's coming back at it. He has not stopped. <clears throat> the uh, the drama has not stopped. As you can see, the little fight there. It seems that's where we're going. If we're the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, what do you make of this? What did you? What were your thoughts when you saw this? I, I won't lie. I was. Uh, I'm a, I'm usually a juju social media defender this time around. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Yeah, I mean, so it was it was funny. It's a good meme. Um, if like some random dude on Twitter made it, um, it would have gotten it. I thought it would have been really funny. The fact that it came from Juju, I kind of have to agree with AJ Brown. Like it does seem a little lame. Like you just won the yeah. Super Bowl, and this is what you're choosing to do with that. Like the parade is today. And instead of like getting ready, like celebrating, getting ready for the parade, you're like taking more shots at a guy who feels awful. Like I, I gen- like I genuinely don't, I don't know if they were, I assume they were talking all game, but I just don't, this is not what I guess I would probably be doing with my time. If I just won mm-hmm. the Super Bowl. Um, no. But yeah, I mean, this is just kind of juju, isn't it? Like, is this, you might know him a little bit better, but this just feels like, you know, he's he's closer to being a he's a Gen Zer. You know, this is how he like talks trash and stuff instead of, you know, maybe doing it on the field or doing it, you know, to his friends or through other people. Um, he has this tool. He has social media to continue to talk trash and people have the ability to talk trash right back. Um, you know, I like you know, I think the most interesting thing is these two teams play each other next year, I'm pretty sure. They, oh, do they? Yeah. I don't um, know if Bradbury will be there, but AJ Brown will be there. Right. CJ um, Gardner will be there. Right. Well, and that's the thing. It's a whole team kind of it this wasn't contained to just Juju and James Bradbury. Um no. like I don't even know if James Bradbury's still like involved with this. It's other guys standing up for him or taking issue with Juju, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's yes, exactly. And that's the thing. Like James Bradbury is gonna be a free agent, so he's not gonna be here next year, most likely. And I, like to take that shot, just like you said, like, like, I don't know, like that's always kind of been Juju Juju's, you know, no hold bars. He doesn't care. He knows how big of an influence he is on social media when it came to the TikTok dancing. It, it's almost as if and I don't want to say this because I defended him so hard for the TikToks about just like, dude, let him do his thing. It is what it is. If he wants to piss people off, he could piss people off. He's a grown man. He's allowed to make these decisions. But with the TikTok things, he like when he was dancing on the field and teams were calling him out, teams were calling him out and he was con- consistently blaming the media for it. Like he was always even w- whether you talk to him in an interview, talk to him in person, whether he was on TikTok, whatever, he was constantly saying that the media is creating a narrative that people in the NFL don't like it when guys were legit calling him out on social media and during press conferences saying like you dance on our field you're in a lot of trouble like you know he was catching that and then this time around he does this and then he's going to defend himself like consistently with these guys as if there was bad blood i don't know maybe there was like maybe there was some real harsh trash talk going down on that field but if there was not you know, this is this is a bad look for a guy who maybe is just like oblivious to any 
self criticism, and I think he, he he deserves to be criticized. This is juju. This is not this is not on James Bradbury. This is not on AJ Brown attacking him or anybody else. Uh, juju took a low blow on a guy twenty four hours or forty eight hours after the game. Bad. Bad right. And it's not. And it's not like James Bradbury was going around talking about, oh, that was that was BS. No. You know, I didn't hold him or anything like that. Like, I don't know. He took it in stride, and it's weird to see the guy who won not take it in stride. You know, exactly. And not exactly. It. If there was trash talk afterwards, like if James Bradbury was like, that was that was BS, and I'm not doing this, and I didn't hold him. Okay, you know, if, if Juju yeah. wants to keep it going, keep it going. But the fact that the entire Eagles team sat there and took it in the most respectful man. I've never seen a team lose with so much grace in my whole life. Right. Every one of them was just like, yeah, man, that wasn't the reason that we lost. Like, you know, there was a bunch of reasons that we lost. It's not just because of that holding call and who cares? Yeah, I, I did it. Like, and, and then Juju's just like, nah, man, I'm firing them back up. And I, I, if anything, if anything, I think it would one it eliminates, in my mind, the Chiefs from winning a Super Bowl next year if Juju's on the team, because mm-hmm. there is no way, there's no way that it's he, that just that's just not how it slides. You know what I mean? You talk, mm-hmm. you talk shit, you get hit. That's just what the world is. Juju's gonna get hit. You know that's gonna that's gonna get ha- that's gonna happen. Uh, my other thing is, do you think? Because we know who Andy Reid is, we know who the Kansas City Chiefs are. They're a very respectful organization. I feel. You know, like those guys, you don't hear a lot of drama coming out of them. Yeah, they talk their talk, but like it's all like it's all afterwards. You know, the Burrow head comments, they, you know, the Travis mm-hmm. Kelsey yelling in the mic, you know, that's all afterwards. Do you think if you're Andy Reid, you're looking at this and going, uh, maybe Juju is no longer an option for us this offseason? Do you think it hurt his stock in free agency? I don't, I don't think it helped, but I don't think it hurt him that much. You know, I don't think they're like, I don't think this will influence whether they do or not bring him back, right? On the one year after his one year. Yeah, he's only on um, one year. Yeah, he's a free agent. Right. So I, I don't think that alone is going to, you know, determine whether they, they bring him back or not. Um, but it's certainly a bad look. It certainly kind of di- diverges from what we've seen and what we kind of know about the Chiefs and just their patterns of behavior. You know, yeah. even when Travis Kelsey is loud and maybe obnoxious sometimes, it's never. I, like that, that you know, no one believed in us thing was kind of lame. I thought, yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. But, like, everybody was, believed in you, the Chiefs, right, but right. Um, but it wasn't like he wasn't going after anyone. Um, and I agree with you, that's not their mo, and it's a little, it is a little weird. Um, but no, nah, I don't think that's what's gonna. I, I like I, I'm not. I don't know enough about what Juju would kind of demand on the market to kind of oh, say nothing. I don't think Juju, I think Juju signed like a one year, $10 million deal this season. Mm-hmm. I doubt he gets one year, $10 million again. Like, right. I just don't think that's, that's a possibility. You could eliminate the Philadelphia Eagles from anywhere that he <laughs> yeah. signs. Yeah, I do not he's... think he's going there. I think it's kind of crazy. Like it kind of feels like maybe Juju has like really bad blood with some of these guys, mm-hmm. especially with the AJ, the AJ Brown comment about coming out and being like, well, I'm glad that you finally got all that off your chest. Like, do you think guys around the league like actually don't like Juju Smith Schuster? Like they got a problem with them? He is like he's definitely a a, uh, a controversial figure when it comes to his social media pro- platform. But I didn't I thought that was just like with us and some people that called him out for dancing on their, you know, logo. Right, which like just the weirdest thing to me too. Like I don't understand like this is the first time where I saw Juju do something, get some hate for it, and thought, okay, this makes a lot. This makes sense. You yes. Know, like, yes. Um, yes. Even the TikToks I, was just like it was just like all right, that's like annoying. Do I think that he should be getting like? I don't think he means any disrespect by it. I thought right. that he was just you know trying to build his social media followers or following, but maybe maybe he did. Maybe Juju's just you know. Juju's just that guy, you know, Will Graves put out a tweet and I don't want to misquote it, but I'm gonna, but I, it ended with like, when somebody shows you who they are, believe them. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh, and it was, it was, it was about Juju. Like it was, mm-hmm. it was quote tweeting Juju's tweet. And maybe people know things that, you know, we don't know about this guy. Mm-hmm. And maybe he's, maybe Juju's a dick, you know, maybe <laughs> Juju's just a big dick and nobody likes him. And this is where we are. I don't know. I don't know. If you're the Steelers, 
you looking at that and saying, uh, maybe maybe we don't re-sign Juju Smith-Schuster this offseason? If the Chiefs aren't going to think that way, do you think the Steelers maybe think that way? Yeah, I, I could buy that more with the Steelers than with the Chiefs. Um, it just seems like a headache that they don't need. Um, yes. I think they have plenty of receivers um, and just – I don't know. It just seems like, again, the kind of headache you don't need. Um, yep. And I, I don't think it's worth kind of the the no. effort to kind of, you know, you wouldn't contain him, but just to kind of deal with that day in and day out. And I think you know how much Mike Tomlin hates having to answer questions that aren't really about football. I mean, he hates answering questions about football too, but um, <laughs> uh, he does he answering does. questions about like, what someone says on social media, which will inevitably come, you know, if yes. Juju comes back to, to Pittsburgh, that's what's going to happen. I don't think he's interested in that at all. No, no, you are uh, just to, to a little sidebar here before we move on to this next thing. You were not around during the blank check comment by Mike Tomlin. That was the epitome of Tomlin does not deal with nonsense in press conferences. It was when he was rumored to go, be hired by USC mm-hmm. and the rumors were nonsense. Like, you know, Mike Tomlin's not leaving the Pittsburgh Steelers for USC. He's just not, mm-hmm. he's just not doing that. Um, and so, but you have to ask about it because those rumors are out there and that it was Chris Sims. I believe that like he was pushing it. He was like, dude, it's, mm-hmm. it's on the verge of happening. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, you know, you obviously wait till the end of the press conference, you set it up. You're like, all right, we, nobody else has questions. All right, let's ask it. And Tim Benz was like, Hey, there's rumors about, you know, you and USC, are there, is there any truth to that? Blah, blah, blah. And he, dude, he looked him dead in the eyes and he was, I don't remember the exact words. I'll have to find the clip, but he finished it off. He was like, you couldn't hand me a blank check from a booster to go <laughs> and leave the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I was just like, okay, <laughs> okay, relax. So yeah, he hates his, I just think if Juju's coming out of him, I don't know. There's a long talk about, Hey man, you do that around here. You get smacked upside the head. Okay. Right. Don't be. Don't be messing with that. We are not good enough for this. I think that also maybe got to Juju's head a little bit is that he's never been on a team that good. Right. And, you know, you get a little, you know, you get a little superior complex going. And next thing you know, you're sending out really, really awful tweets. It was great, dude. I was about to leave when that when that tweet left. Like I was I was getting ready. I had to do a couple of errands and. I was putting my shoes on and I looked down and I was just like, oh, no, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> like, right. why, what are you doing right now? Mm-hmm. So it's a good tweet. 